Two months ago, I was asked to be a part of one of the most ambitious projects I've ever done. A good friend of mine, Colin O'Brady, approached me with the idea of breaking a new world record, hitting the 50 highest points of all 50 states with the goal to be of 41 days. The project started out in Alaska with the climb that was going to take the longest, being that the world record clock didn't actually start until you reach the summit of the first high point. That mountain was Denali, which is actually the tallest mountain in North America, standing over 20,000 feet tall. This expedition takes most climbers two to three weeks and even then potentially not summit. Colin and his climbing partner, Dr. John Kudrowski, were able to complete it in seven days. eight hours. Well, this is gonna be the craziest turnaround if we somehow pulled off. I've been stressed this morning, fog. First of many delays, I suspect. Getting from here to Hawaii should be interesting. <laughs> Our flight from Anchorage is at like 4.30. <laughs> it's 12.15 right now, we're on the place. Oh, man. Are we gonna, are we gonna make it, dude? I don't know, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, uh, I guess I'll open the door back for you. Oh, my. Let's go to Hawaii! Review. We woke up in Honolulu this morning, flew to Kona, climbed Mauna Kea, swam in the ocean, flew to LAX, transferred terminals, somehow made a flight, now we're in Albuquerque, 1.55 a.m. local time. We have 10 plus hours of driving, two peaks to climb that are both legit. I'm gonna start by driving three hours through the night right now. Ryan's gonna sleep in the back seat, then I'm gonna climb New Mexico, then Ryan's gonna take over driving, then I'm gonna try to climb Oklahoma, and we're gonna try to make a flight out of Amarillo, Texas. We have like 15 hours, two mountains to climb, and 10 or 11 hours of driving. We gotta go. <laughs> well, here we are. I, um, for the first time in a little while, I got a good look at myself. I look haggard. Got a smile on my face. It's a good day to be alive. Not only do we have the coolest sponsors keeping me healthy and fit, they're also gonna give me their bathroom. Yeah, okay, so like a hop off a private jet, get handed rental car keys, and now we drive to the high point. That's efficiency. Good, man. It's all Alabama. What do you think of this whole high pointing adventure? I think it's awesome. Actually, I found his cousin. His YouTube channel. Oh, really? Yeah. No way. So 
we are currently heading to the High Point in Missouri. And for the first time in the last like five states we've been to, it's not ridiculously hot and it's actually starting to rain right now. We're in Louisiana after midnight. We've actually been lost. We lost the trail. We did 10 high points so far, six of which happened in the last 24 hours. The last 17 hours. Thank you guys so much. We made it to the RV. The Cruise America is hooking it up, man. How long have you been in South Carolina? All my life. All your life? 70 years. How long have you been involved with the, the Trail. trails and all that kind of stuff? Um, almost half of that. Really? <laughs> wow. In seven days, we had covered 20 states, and the first 10 of those was literally just me and Colin by ourselves flying around on the jet, all the way from Alaska to Hawaii and then getting into the south. And It was an unreal amount of travel in such a short period of time, more than I'd ever done in my entire life. And then we finally ended up meeting up with the RV and actually getting our crew and sort of resources, which we so desperately needed. I mean, we were dying at that point, like so much sleep deprivation. As much as I'd like to say that as soon as we got to the RV, things were better, um, to some degree, it almost got worse. I have never really had a problem with motion sickness, but due to the fact that I was so sleep deprived and my equilibrium just being so sort of tossed around from being on so many different flights and sprinting through airports and just driving hours on end, I immediately got the worst motion sickness I've ever had in my life. As much as I'd like to say that it just went away after a couple of days, it lasted almost four or five days and it actually extended even later into the project. Anytime I tried to sit down and edit at my computer, it was a no-go. Unfortunately, what this resulted in was a drastic change of expectations with what I was gonna be doing with the content for the project. As you guys know, I had hoped to be posting videos daily on Colin's channel and hopefully a couple of times a week on my own channel. That immediately just went out the window. There was not a chance of me getting out a video even every other day. What ended up happening was I didn't post a video until nearly two weeks into the project on Colin's channel. There was no time to do my own stuff. We just learned and we went with it and we changed plans and re-strategized for how we were gonna put things out. We just kept pushing forward. say this but uh, I think the mic jack on my a7 III broke all right so I've got my Rode video mic pro going into the a7 III it's at plus 20 DB right now so there should be plenty of audio signal happening notice how there's almost nothing but when I wiggle this little jack it randomly spikes up like that I'm holding it like I'm pushing it to the top and it's, and then when I let go. A couple months ago in preparation for this project, I started thinking to myself like, what could be the worst thing that could go wrong? Like what would 
detrimentally like make this project come to an end. And as silly as it may seem like, oh yeah, breaking an ankle or something like that, I started thinking of my camera equipment. Like what if my camera fails? I had debated so much in my head, like do I buy a second Sony a7 III to have as backup or do I buy like an a6500? I didn't actually end up going through with that. But prior to this project, some people at b &H Photo had reached out to me and they'd noticed my YouTube channel and wanted to see if I was interested in collaborating with them on some projects. At the time I was preparing for this, obviously, so I told them, hey, look, I'm getting ready to set out on a super ambitious project. If you guys wanna join in and partner with me on this, I would love the support and they agreed to. They actually ended up sending me the Sony RX100 Mark V, I think it is, just the top of the line vlogging point and shoot that everybody's been using. And they also sent me the wireless Sennheiser lab kit for sort of run and gun and documentary interview style stuff. But shocking that uh, my camera actually did fail and I did actually need a backup camera. But unfortunately the RX100 was not going to suffice as a backup camera for the remainder of the project. The audio isn't good enough. I mean, and plus I had already been shooting the entire project on a full frame camera. So there was really just no other solution than to somehow get another Sony a7 III or a7R III. So I called my friends at B&H and asked them if they could help me out. Less than 24 hours later, I had a brand new a7R III waiting for me at the private jet. I cannot tell you guys how much B&H literally saved this project. <laughs> we were moving at such a rapid pace that there was no time to find a camera store and stop to buy one. I mean, we had such a strict itinerary with our private jet and the flights and trying to link up all of these high points. And plus the areas that we were in in each of the states were just so remote for the most part, so far away from any major electronics store. So finding something like the A7R3 or the A7 III, which is just never in stock, at like a Best Buy or something like that was just so unlikely. And even ordering something off Amazon with like overnight shipping was just not gonna be an option because of like the shipping location. But B&H was amazing to actually coordinate that package to get to one of the airports that the private jet was waiting for us at. If that doesn't go to show like how incredible this company is with supporting creators like, I don't know what, it may seem like I'm over exaggerating this, but seriously, b &H, thank you. All right, b &H is calling me. All right, Darren, you've been amazing. I appreciate your help. Let me know as soon as you got a confirmation. Sounds good, man. Hi, we got a special package just for you. Mike, thank you, my man. You so I welcome. appreciate that. in Iowa, which is only... All of a mere 1,600 feet. You don't even have to hike, you're just here and you're already at the tallest point. <laughs> talking, talking to Colin, talking with Ryan here, so... Yeah, Ryan's a really... I follow Ryan on his channel, so he does some pretty awesome stuff. So being in his vlog, that's pretty cool. Thank, thank you so much for yeah. coming out and hanging out. Thank I appreciate you. it. I appreciate it, Great Ryan. to meet you guys. We got up to this really insane location, but it's the wrong place. <laughs> really good for photos yeah, though. Yeah, amazing view. This has been one of the hardest parts of this project is we're at all these locations for such a limited amount of time. A strict itinerary with the flights and everything. And it takes time to film B-roll as you guys know. This has been like one of the coolest locations I've seen yet. Perfect light, but we went to the wrong thing. We gotta, we gotta discuss this for a sec. <laughs> so we climbed the wrong mountain, all in second time, <laughs> our first time, and luckily, this guy comes to save the day. 
out in the middle of nowhere. We call him. Colin's like, yo, where are you? And he's like, you're on the wrong mountain. <laughs> so not only did this guy, Jason, by the way, yeah, Jason, yep, Jason, come save us and tell us we're at the wrong mountain, but also that, that you, you came because of me. Yeah. And a couple of the high points, I've been meeting some subscribers, which has been incredible. <laughs> Always fun to meet new people. So what kind of stuff do you do, dude? I'm um, actually a videography. So yeah. I'm a freelance videographer in Williston. I'm mostly doing like events and like drone work, but I've also done like weddings and commercials and stuff like that. So. Nice. And then you're rocking, of course, yep. the A7 III. Did, did I happen to have any influence in the yeah, purchase of that? You and like every other YouTuber I know had an influence on it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. You! Oh my god. Is this it? I'm quick! You! Woo! Sunset! We, uh, we're over there. We were at the wrong place. But we are the right place. I mean... say it has been very fun but also pretty difficult pretty stressful I think a lot more than I was expecting when Colin sort of came to me and approached me with the idea of shooting this whole thing but uh, regardless it's been an ambitious and very exciting learning experience um, and also it's just been crazy cool to basically see well by the end of this literally the entire United States and drive around in an RV with some amazing people and fly around in private jets. Again, the people at Standard Process, Mike and Al, the pilots, Charlie, they're incredible people and they've been taking such great care of us, getting us food and stuff like while we're out doing the high points and we come back and hop on the jet and then cruise off and we're eating food 41,000 feet in the air. I gotta say, it's been a fun experience. out running these trails crushing this world record it's been an ongoing continuous battle for us to find phone service it's beautiful up here legs are definitely tired from the last few days Side of the Sierras are some of the most beautiful mountains in the entire world, so I'm excited to go out and play in them. But I'm also excited that it's 5:40 and we can like <laughs> have a sit-down dinner, and maybe like a proper sleep, and I can actually edit some videos. <laughs> Good news or bad news first? Good news or bad news first? I got the this information within five minutes of each other. Literally, okay. no, like within one minute. Yeah, I'm guessing Arizona is open though. Arizona as of Wednesday is open. Are they going to do it Wednesday? They're going to do it oh, Wednesday. Wow. So that is like, woo woo, celebration, been so stressed about that, whatever. In the same minute I was celebrating that information, I got the news that a lightning strike closed Whitney's Road today. What? Yes, sir. Wait, what? the P. 
people say Do for you. Summit? Oh. Summit! Summit? Summit! Summit? incredibly fun because I basically got to see the entire US but it's really frustrating because we don't stop anywhere for more than like 30 minutes to actually capture b-roll so because Colin Lucas and John are out climbing this like 20 20 hour plus climb it's like 40 miles we actually get to shoot some stuff for once you're covered in bugs right now. <laughs> okay just nope <laughs> I'm facing back to front. 26 hours? No big deal. Casual. Dude, I'm rocked. <laughs> I'm, I'm lit, smoked. <laughs> that puts it in perspective, huh? When you're hanging out for 26 hours. 40 miles was a lot better when you saw me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Summit! Win, W, W. We got it. Big fucking win. <laughs> out of love, out of love. It'll all be fine this time. Out of love, out of love. Horizon's lighting up behind you, man. Yeah, thank God. I'm in the I'm in the 4 a.m. delirium right now. Up there. We're gonna solve this master puzzle. We're out here for seven hours so far. Finally making it through the uh, 4 a.m. delirium. So now we're into the five o'clock. Rise, rise to life again.
Number 49 officially. Just drive to another mountain and climb it. Let's go stop the clock. I freaking did it! We did it! Such a team effort! I'm here, it's 2.54 a.m. July 19th. Officially stopped the clock. That's it, man. 50 HP in the bank. <laughs> 21 days and change. 21 days, I think John said. Nine hours? Nine, nine hours and 50 something minutes. I haven't it done. We want to put that waypoint in. Call it. Yeah, so done, right? I mean. <laughs> done. Is it done. sunk in at all or not really? I mean. Not really, I guess. It's, uh. It's funny, we've been living just in this bubble, like in this world of bit. doing this, you know? Even and like, like the day after day after day, like, hey, we gotta go to this next yeah. week now. We gotta hike up this one. Oh, now it, tom tomorrow's not really a, a peak to climb. Thank God. All right. Uh, we created a little for the, the third world, world record cup. There it is. Where's Jenna? But this is the this is the captain of the team right here. Ryan, who's been here. Blake, get up here. Blake. It's been fun. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just the beginning. Okay.